a young sea lion plaintively bleats. The pup, clearly lethargic and underweight, can barely lift their head. Rescuers approach with caution, sensitive to the animal's fear and unknown health conditions. The little sea lion, woefully underweight, is easily lifted into the net for transport to the nearest marine mammal rehabilitation center. Rescues just like this played out hundreds of times in 2015 as unprecedented numbers of pinnipeds stranded on California beaches. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration deemed the crisis an unusual mortality event. The stranded pups tend to be about seven or eight months old, emaciated and dehydrated. Their weakened state makes it impossible for them to compete in the wild, find food, and withstand strong ocean currents and waves. Hauling out onto a beach is often an animal's last attempt at survival. Rescues, in some cases dramatic and unusual, occurred all along the coast. You may have seen the pictures from Southern California in the last day or so, a sea lion pup that was found and in an upscale restaurant in a booth. But the unusual scene also brought new and serious focus to the plight of these mammals that are having an especially tough time this year finding food, with many starving. Our Morgan Radford has more. Hungry and malnourished, she took a seat like every other customer. The chef at this restaurant posting on Facebook that this baby sea lion was early for her reservation. We were surprised to see a real young sea lion pup that had actually spent the night in this booth at the restaurant. In desperate need of medical attention, the SeaWorld rescue team carried her away, giving her what she needs and calling her Marina. This pup weighed 20 pounds when we rescued it this morning. It should be about 40 to 50 pounds out in the wild right now. And she's not the only one. Hundreds of sea lions along the California coast are searching for food, walking into stores and backyard patios. He's very cute and, and very, very nice. All trying to survive. The waters off the coast of California are getting warmer because of El Nino. That means that the food that these sea lions need, like the anchovies and the sardines that exist in cold water, are getting pushed farther away, leaving these pups stranded and starving. Not only are they looking for high ground, they're also searching out food. 2015 was the hottest year on record, according to NASA. And SeaWorld rescued 990 California sea lions, just like Marina. Already this year, they rescued 46, which is why experts are hoping this isn't the new normal. Morgan Radford, NBC News, Los Angeles. Once a sea lion has found safe refuge at a rescue center, staff quickly takes action to stabilize the animal and begin the road to recovery. Fluids are administered, antibiotics if necessary, and some animals require heaters to help them regulate their body temperatures. After that, rest and good food are the most important factors to recovery. While scientists are still researching the reason for the unusual mortality event, the availability of prey seems to be a key factor. An abundance of food is important for nursing sea lion mothers and for the pups as they begin to wean. Prey must be easily available for pups in order for them to thrive after separating from their mothers. El Nino may be a contributing factor to the lack of food, and researchers continue to monitor this aspect. Last year, about 3,000 California sea lions were rescued from California beaches. The animals quickly inundated the state's seven live-stranded marine mammal centers. These centers are varied with regard to their staffing, with much of the network's workforce being comprised of volunteers guided by professional veterinarians and veterinary technicians. Facility capacity varies as well, and for some, when patient capacity was reached, they simply had to close their doors to new patients. In that case, pups are left on the beach and monitored, or when in dire condition, brought in for humane euthanasia. The Stranding Network is committed to providing the best care possible for those animals they treat. However, when resources are limited, all animals cannot be helped. 2015 was a hugely challenging year for all the facilities in the Stranding Network. And 2016 is quickly shaping up to bring more of the same.